Hi, today we're going to turn a perfume bottle out of Purple Heart. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I just uh, just trued it up. It's a piece of Purple Heart. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the lid first. Let's go ahead and, uh, and shape it just a little bit and then uh, hollow the hollow it out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hollow out the center. All right. Got it, got it all hollowed out so the lid fits in there. And I put it put it just a little bit down. Um, I sunk it in just a little bit. I think a little bit of sanding will clean that up. But also you don't want it to, uh, when you have it on, put the, do the bottom, you don't want to be able to see anything in the center there. You want it, want it up tight. So now we'll just go ahead and sand it up. Then we need to turn it around and, and uh, finish the top of this before we glue the, the lid in too. I'm just gonna turn the lid down and sand it up. You don't need to sand on the inside of it uh, either, but you'll have to clean up the wax that gets in there. Just doing the final sanding right here. We'll go ahead and cut it off and turn it around. I'm just gonna I'm gonna part it off with the hacksaw again. All right, now we'll just turn a tenon down. Now we'll just go ahead and turn a tenon down on on this and mount it back on. We're just gonna go ahead and clean it up. Just gonna go ahead and sand it up, turn the lathe back down. Just finishing up with the 600 here. Then we'll just uh, just set the lid down inside of it and glue that in. Got the bottom of it here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shape the outside of it. And we're gonna take this tenon off because we don't uh, we don't need it. We're just gonna use the the insert.
not going to bring that around too much just yet because I want to uh, haul out the inside. Get down there with just a small eighth inch ball gouge. I just took a drill and uh, drilled it, uh, drilled down in it with the, the drill chuck on the tailstock. It was uh, it just a lot easier. If I had a pin chuck, I probably would have pre-drilled this and, and done it that way. Um, but I don't have one this size. So that's how I did that. I hollowed it out. I was messing around trying to haul it out with a bowl gouge and it, it just take one, take them forever. So I did it with the screw or with the drill bit. Um, and then this just slides right in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, just finish this up and sand it up and then turn it around and uh, and finish the bottom. I'll just go ahead and sand it up, turn the lathe speed back down. All right, I'm just finishing up with the 600. We'll go ahead and part it off. Go ahead and uh, mount it back on and clean that up. All right, I just had a 5 8 inch dowel I found, um, and I sanded it down just a, just a little bit. Actually, that that hole was pretty close to 5 8 I didn't realize that, so I probably could have used a pin chuck for that. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and put it on there and clean up the bottom real quick. We're just gonna uh, cup the bottom out just a little bit, just in case uh, you want to set it down, stand it up. Just bring the lathe back up. Kind of bring it around a little bit. And then, then and then just cup it out. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, run through the grits here and clean it up. Alright, I'm just finishing up here, just gonna go ahead and polish it up. There we go. It's all cleaned up on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in. Then I'm gonna get the hot the hot glue gun warming up. But there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put a drop of glue on on the lid and then down inside of it. And we will uh, get it together. All right. There we go. And it just just the lid just threads on. Seats down nice and tight. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.